Hey there YouTube, this is Vitamin M bringing you another video about the 20 gallon nano reef. Uh, today is day 11 and in the mail I got my cleanup crew. So I ordered these from reefcleaners.org. Uh, I did a lot of research online and it seemed like they had the best prices and uh, you know the customer service was really good I uh, I emailed them probably at 9 o'clock at night and uh, I received an email back the next morning by like 7 so you know really quick on the you know answering any questions I had and uh, you know I they mailed this out yesterday and I got here today before noon so uh, I'm gonna open these guys up and uh, show you what's inside all right, I've got the box open. Um, so I'm gonna go through, I don't really know, I can't really tell the difference between a lot of these. So I'm just gonna tell you guys what I ordered and uh, maybe you guys can tell me what I have or which ones are which. All right, I got 25 dwarf serifs. And then I got six Nazareth. Snails. I'm thinking these ones might be the uh, dwarf serifs. There seems to be quite a few. Um, I also got eight Florida serifs. I think these last things are just empty shells for the hermit crabs I order. Uh, ordered. I got six Nazarite snails. Uh, this is obviously not any snails. Uh, this is some macro algae I ordered. It was only a penny, so I said, hey, what the heck? Might as well uh, take a look, see what I get. And then I ordered uh, five assorted hermit crabs. a bunch of something in that bag. I also ordered a uh, pack of pods that had copepods and it says it has all different kinds of pods in it. So uh, maybe you guys can uh, also let me know about that kind of stuff because I'm not really sure. And then I got a brittle starfish. That's that guy there. Ooh, that must be all the pods. They're tiny. Well, I'm gonna float these bags in the tank so that they get temperature acclimated. And uh, we'll go on from there. Alright, so the bags have been floating in the aquarium now for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, the instructions say to float them in there for that long, 15 minutes. And then to just um, put them right into the aquarium, not to drip acc acclimate them. Because of the shipping, I guess. They uh, just want to get them in the tank as soon as possible. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and I'm going to just start putting these bad boys in there. Alright, first off I'm just going to put the uh, pods in, the couple pods and amphipods and all that. So that you guys probably won't be able to really see anything. Um, they say just to cut open the bag and dump the entire contents out into the tank and then to flip the bag inside out and kind of rinse it off in the tank so that's what I'm gonna do right now there they go in the tank next up I'm gonna put in the macro algae I think for right now I'm just gonna shove it kind of back behind the rock near the heater uh, 
probably end up moving it. But I'm going to try to wedge it down by the rock. So maybe it doesn't, uh, the flow doesn't move it around too much. Okay, next up are some snails. Like I said, I don't really know the difference between them, so uh, maybe if somebody on YouTube knows, they can uh, let me know. Um, and uh, I'd greatly appreciate it. So these are packed with a, a little napkin to keep them moist, so they say, you know, they just pull off all the little critters and uh, throw away that piece of paper towel. Some of these snails are tiny. Wow, that's amazing how quickly they uh, are just walking around. Next up are some larger snails. Try to flip them all right side up because I know some of the snails have a hard time flipping themselves over. And I uh, would like as many to survive as possible. And some more snails. <laughs> figure for the sake of the video I'm just gonna kind of put them all in the same spot and they'll make themselves they'll make their way around the uh, the tank I mean as you can see they're already some of them already up and moving Ooh, this bag does not smell too good I think these might be the uh, hermit crabs, but it looks like one of them doesn't have a shell. You can kind of see them, him right here. There's one in a shell and then one. So luckily, they sent me some extra shells. So hopefully that guy, that little guy, can find his own. like quite a few don't have shells. Huh. I think this next bag is just empty shells. So we'll get that in there. They look kind of big, but I don't know. So it's getting pretty crowded in this one little corner, so I think the rest of them I might uh, just add around the tank. I'm thinking these must be the dwarf Nazareths or uh, Sarah snails because they are, they are tiny and there are a ton. Way, way more than I ordered. So that's another nice thing. They definitely send you a lot more than uh, what you pay for so you know just in case some don't survive the shipping you definitely uh, definitely have a lot It's 
hard to get all these little guys out of the bag. And last but not least, I'm going to put in the brittle starfish. Looks like he might have lost a leg in transit. I don't know how that would have happened. But there's definitely a, a tentacle. in the bag that is not attached to a starfish. Either that, or it may be another one. I don't know, because it seems to be moving on its own, so I'm just going to plop it in the tank. And maybe I'll have uh, two for one. Well, that's it for uh, today. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.